When I was younger, I would write down on a piece of paper that I wanted to play for the U.S. national team, and I had no idea that I would ever play for Mexico. I grew up in Idaho, and I've been in America my whole life, so playing for Mexico wasn't something that I really dreamt of doing. But, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing that I played for Mexico. I think it's a part of my journey, and it honestly did wonders for me. It helped me with my confidence, because I never knew that I could play internationally. So playing for Mexico made me realize, like, I can play at this level. I can play against the best players in the world. And I do think that it helped me realize what I wanted and how bad I want to play for the U.S. Over the years, I've been given a lot of advice. And last year, one of our assistant coaches said, you have control over everyone else's perception of you. And that quote spoke to me and it was like, wow, I think all these things about myself, but does anyone else? Like, these people are telling me that I should just play for Mexico. Like, they must not see me the way that I see myself. And so that was something that I really took in and I realized that it wasn't good enough the last two years. And a part of me felt sorry for myself, like, oh, why haven't I gotten called into camps? Why aren't I scoring more goals? And I, I felt sorry for myself, and I finally woke up and was like, what are, you so what are you feeling sorry about? Like, you have control of your life. If you want to change things, like, you're the only person who can do that. So why aren't you doing it? Huerta seized that moment by making physical and mental changes to her life and her game. U.S. women's soccer took notice and invited her to train with the national team while she awaits FIFA's approval. My dream is to be on that World Cup roster in 2019 and then the Olympics and just to be a constant player on the national team, like that is my dream. And so right now I'm just looking forward to completing that in any way that I can because it's not guaranteed. <laughs> Getting called into a camp is amazing, but it doesn't mean anything. So I'm just waiting to see what I can do with my journey and how far I can really take this dream that I have. And if I do that, and at the end, I don't make an Olympic roster, a World Cup roster, that's okay with me because I think I've learned over the time that soccer is not everything. Soccer in my life right now is super prevalent. It's what I think about 99% of the time. But in the grand scheme of things, it's very little. <laughs> so of course my dream is to play for the US. I think I would cry if I ever played for them in a big tournament. But at the end of the day, if I don't make a team, I know that I put everything that I could into making this team, and I will never regret that, ever. It's time to kick. Kick that ball 130 miles per hour. Kick up a sprint every 90 seconds. Kick that heart rate up 167 beats per minute and go 45 minutes straight, no timeouts. 